So we're a couple of weeks into 2023, and it took me a little bit of time to compile my list of my goals for 2023 when it comes to comic collecting. I have a proof. I have proof. Here's my list right here. Boom. Can't give it away too much, but let's talk about it. I have six things, six goals for this year when it comes to collecting comic books. And, you know, they're, none of them are in any particular order, but we'll just go with it. And yes, I had to put them down on a list so I can visualize them. Not just so I can remember them when I'm talking about them in this video, but I need to visualize it too. I need to have it so I can see it. So it could kind of push me and remind me, right? So with that being said, um, the first goal I have is to be more selective when it comes to my pull list, right? And I mentioned this before. I, I give myself an opportunity when it comes to choosing a book, right? I give myself an opportunity to decide if I like it enough to put it on my pull list or not. And I have that three book rule. If I can get past the third book or to the third book and still enjoy it, then yeah, it's worthy of putting on my list. But what I want to do this year is be a little bit more, a little bit stricter with that. Uh, you know, I, I could, because right now I, I feel like I have a lot of stuff on my, on my pull list. And now granted, everything that I have on my pull list is stuff that I enjoy right? Of course, some stuff I enjoy more than others, but I do enjoy everything that's on my list. But I think what I need to do for cost reasons, right, is narrow down that list and decide what is worthy of keeping on my pull list. And then maybe stuff that I pull off my list I'll just continue to collect in a uh, trade paperback version. And that way I'm still getting it. I might not be up to date as these books come out by waiting on the, the trade, but that's okay. Um, because if it's not worthy of keeping on my list, then I still enjoy it. But it's not really that high on the priority list of wanting to read now. So one thing I do... Uh, enjoy a lot is miniseries because they're usually pretty quick, right? They're not ongoing and ongoing and ongoing and have multiple arcs and arcs and arcs. And it's like, yeah, you know, I love ongoing series. There are some that I, I that is just like a staple that I will not get rid of some ongoing series, but some I can do without having them on my pull list. So there, uh, I got to figure out which ones are more worthy of a trade paperback collecting as opposed to the single issue collecting. And then, you know, so I'm in the process of trying to figure out what's worthy of staying on my pull list and what's not. So, yeah, that is my first goal is to be more selective when it comes to my pull list. And another goal of mine, and I briefly touched on it already, is to narrow down my current pull list. Um, I have a long pull list. Now, in my defense, though, in my defense, heroes, when they put stuff on the pull list, when I, when I ask them to put stuff on my pull list, they never take it off, even if the run is finished. So, as you can see, my pull list looks extremely long, but there's a lot of stuff on there that has finished, whether it's a mini series or whatever the case. So yeah, there is stuff on here that is on my hot list, so to speak, which, um, you know, Spawn or King Spawn and Gunslinger Spawn, there's two books that I've really been enjoying, but not as much as others. So they might come off my pull list. 
um, and maybe just collect the trades. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so I, I really need to start narrowing down that list because it's getting it's getting pricey. It's getting really, really pricey. So yeah. <laughs> so that's my other goal, or one of my other goals is to narrow down and shrink my current pull list. Another goal of mine, and this is gonna be one of the fun goals, fun, fun, fun goals for me, is to hunt down. This year, I want to hunt down and find some key comics, right? There's some key comic books that I want to have in my collection. One of them being Amazing Spider-Man 300. I, I want to find that. I want to have that in my collection. I also want to have a copy of New Mutants 98 in my collection. I feel like I have I have the, the entire circle chase for Deadpool. Only four books, but I have that entire first run of Deadpool. So now it's only fitting to have the first appearance of Deadpool, which is New, Mut New Mutants 98. So I need to fit I need to find that. And, and I know both of these books, they're gonna be pricey. Um, but it'll be worth it. It'll totally be worth it. Now whether I want to buy them graded or just a raw cover, you know, raw books. I don't know. Um, of course, buying the raw it might is probably going to be cheaper than buying buying it graded. Now, if I do find just the books without them being slabbed and graded, there's a chance that I would send them off to CGC. Even though I've heard horror stories because it lasts a long, it takes forever. I've never I've never done it myself to have something sent off to CGC or anywhere else to have a book graded and slabbed and all that. I've never done it. But I've heard a lot of stories where it takes a long time, and in some cases, over a year. <sighs> that makes me a little nervous. A little nervous, I'm not going to lie. But that would be a goal of mine, though. Possibly to have it graded if I don't buy it graded and slabbed already. But yeah, those are the two books that I want to I buy this year. New Mutants 98 and ASM Amazing Spider-Man 300. Hopefully I can make it happen. I'm on the hunt. Uh, a fourth goal of mine would be to complete some of these trade paperback collections that I currently already have. Now, one collection that I do have that is, is completely completed is Deceased. I have every trade that's out for that right now. Now, War of the Undead Gods, that's already been solicited for September. So, of course, I'm going to get that. Of course... But, you know, there's other runs. You know, I I've, I've currently have the first uh, volume one of Venom. I have volume one of uh, Robin. Um, and I know both of those have had a couple more have come out. I, there's only been two volumes of uh, Moon Knight. I have those. So there, there's some stuff. I want to continue to have a complete collection um, of everything that I have. And, yeah, some things are harder to find than others. So that is another goal of mine, and uh, I want to have everything complete. So a huge, huge, huge goal of mine this year is to have a better way of storing my comics and organizing my comics. Um, because right now, I just kind of have stuff just, you know? So uh, as you can see, I have you know, my boxes, my short boxes and stuff. And, you know, I, I don't really have a dedicated space as of right now uh, for my comics. So I do plan on looking into uh, different bookshelves and maybe Ikea. Ikea has uh, a bookshelf where you can kind of like put, it's not made for it, of course, but it kind of works out perfectly, but you can put your short boxes in the holes of uh, the the bookshelf or whatever you want to call it. So, you know, that's an option. But yeah, I do need to become more organized too because within my boxes, I have them labeled as DC, Marvel, whatever. Um, 
but I want to start breaking them down and organizing them a little more with, uh, <sighs> by title, I would like to go by year as well. Um, yeah, and just kind of like really narrowing things down and tightening things up, so to speak, uh, when it comes to organizing, because as the collection grows, I need to have a system in place um, and just can't be just like all willy nilly, <laughs> you know, just kind of searching through stuff. When I'm looking for something specific, I don't want to have to search forever. So that's a goal of mine is to, you know, figure out this system that I want, this organization system that I want to put together. And uh, yeah, that, that's going to that's gonna work wonders, especially in the long run, because, you know, I mean, like the... The collection I have right now is small in comparison to many others. But to me, it's a, it's a large collection, kind of, but it's growing. It's a growing collection. So, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's the big thing for me, organization. Next to obtaining those key comics that I was just talking about as far as being the fun stuff, right? Probably the funnest goal I'm going to have this year is there's three cons that I want to attend this year. San Diego Comic Con is not going to be one of them. That ship has already sailed and it sailed quickly <laughs> because I'm going to be on a cruise during San Diego Comic Con. Anyway, the cons that I want to attend this year is MegaCon, which tickets are on sale right now and I'm planning on getting the four day pass for that so MegaCon Heroes Con which is in my backyard basically uh, because my LCS Heroes Aren't Hard to Find promotes it and puts that show on so that's that's kind of a that's kind of a guaranteed gimme right so Heroes Con and then I also want to go to New York Comic Con this year so I feel like those are spread out enough to where it's obtainable. And yeah, now during my time at all three of those cons, I'm, I, there's no doubt I should be able to find that ASM 300 or that New Mutants 98 at one of them. There should be no doubt that I should be able to do that. So well, my fingers crossed, I'll have to bring some, some dollars. <laughs> Uh, and be ready just in case I do come across it. But um, yeah, I definitely want to attend them. All three, man. All three. Megacon. I'm already. I already have a hotel booked for that. I just need to get tickets. Heroes Con. I don't need a hotel for that. I just those tickets just went on sale. And New York Comic Con. Those tickets are not on sale yet, but I'm waiting. For, like they they sent out emails and stuff like that. So I saw because I signed up for their email list and got their what I forget what it's called, but there's a, they got a whole different process. Um, but yeah, I'm just waiting on word from them and then hopefully I'll be able to get tickets for that. So yeah, oh, and there's also a chance that I might go to Brazil later this year, also, and there's a chance that I could attend the Sao, well, Sao Paulo in Sao Paulo, Brazil, the Comic-Con, the big Comic-Con that they have down there in Sao Paulo, Brazil. So there's a chance that I could possibly attend that. I'm not sure about that one yet, but hopefully. So, yeah. Well, those are my 2023 comic collecting goals for the year. Uh, Wolverine's fallen asleep behind me, apparently. So I got to let him get to sleep. So I'm going to get up out of here. So let me know what you guys think about my goals, man. How are they realistic? Uh, maybe. So with that being said, check out my previous video and uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And uh, yeah, catch you guys on the flip side.